If the scale of size makes Starship the largest rocket, then surely the Raptor engine is the key to making Starship the most powerful rocket. To be able to play a key role in maintaining the crown for Starship, the Raptor engine has undergone countless improvements and overcomes limits that we couldn't even imagine. So, how did SpaceX's engine develop to become as powerful as it is today? Why did all these changes shock the entire industry? Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. The Raptor Engines project began as part of SpaceX's ambitious goal to transform humanity into a multi-planetary species. Conceived in the early 2010s, Raptor aims to provide propulsion for the next generation of spacecraft, especially the envisioned Starship vehicle for missions to Mars and beyond. The Raptor 1 was the first version to transition to using methyl ox fuel instead of liquid oxygen and RP-1 kerosene as to the Merlin engines used by the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. The advantage of methane gas is that it's easier to produce, store, burns cleaner, and is more efficient than kerosene, plus just better suited for missions to Mars. Compared to the Merlin engine, the Raptor engine utilizes a staged combustion cycle improved from the open cycle gas generator system to increase efficiency and optimize fuel usage. The Raptor also employs a large number of coaxial swirl injectors instead of pinnel injectors, uses backup dual spark plug ignition powered by battery spark plugs, and the engine materials and manufacturing technology have been improved. As a result, the Raptor engine can produce a thrust of up to 185 tons, double that of Merlin, while the chamber pressure is also three times greater than Merlin's, despite the two engines being of similar size. In 2019, Elon Musk announced the results of Raptor engine tests, with chamber pressure reaching up to 268.9 bar, breaking the record held by Russia's RD-180 for decades. The Raptor 1 version was manufactured and fully tested from February 2018 to July 2021. In early 2022, the first Raptor 2 was unveiled, marking the end of Raptor 1 era. This was also considered the biggest milestone in moving towards a new chapter for the Raptor engine with many noticeable changes. Compared to the original Raptor, the Raptor 2 appears considerably sleeker. A large amount of plumbing and sensors have been eliminated. Additionally, many valves have been combined into valve plates, further simplifying the plumbing system. By removing a large number of these components, SpaceX has made the engine more fire-resistant and heat-tolerant, a clear step towards SpaceX's goal of removing all engine casing from the booster, which would reduce the mass of the booster by about 6 tons. This is a clear example of Musk's mantra, the best part is no part. Another change implemented on the Raptor 2 to further reduce engine mass is the removal of the ignition system in the main combustion chamber. Instead of relying on backup ignition devices, hot oxygen and hot CH4 gas will hypergolically ignite under the high temperature and pressure of the main combustion chamber. The Raptor 2 also has a fewer baffles than the original Raptor version. As a result, the design's more stable and streamlined. With a simplified structure, the Raptor 2 will reduce the number of components in complex structures, making it lighter than the previous version weighing 1.6 tons compared to 2 tons of the Raptor 1. As a result, Raptor 2 can be manufactured more easily, quickly, and cheaper than Raptor 1. Despite removing many components with a new design, the Raptor 2 is 25% more powerful than Raptor 1, achieving a thrust of up to 230 tons, with chamber pressure up to 300 bar. With 33 booster engines, the Starship achieves a thrust of 7,590 tons, or 16.8 million pounds. Currently, the Raptor 2 is considered one of the best engines by a standard that other engines aspire to. The title of the most powerful rocket for Starship is the most convincing evidence of the capability of the Raptor 2. But advancements will not stop there. While other companies are struggling to surpass Raptor 2, SpaceX is already creating an even more formidable version, the Raptor 3 engine. Raptor 3 is a further streamlined design of the Raptor engine aimed to ultimately achieve 280 tons of thrust in the booster sea level configuration with one stated goal being deleting the requirements for protective engine shrouds. In May 2023, Musk reported a successful static fire of Raptor 3 to 350 bar, 5100 PSI, for 45 seconds, producing 269 tons. Raptor 3 is a much simplified design that internalizes much of the plumbing and sensors to increase reliability and improve re-entry performance. What's particularly noteworthy is that the Raptor V3 will be installed on the next generation Starship V2. As Raptor V3 becomes operational with the new generation spacecraft, the Raptor V2 engines on the older Starship V1s will phase out. This transition is expected to happen soon as SpaceX only has four pairs of prototype first generation rockets, and they'll swiftly begin manufacturing the next gen prototypes, with Elon forecasting that six pairs of rockets will be produced by the end of the year. Not content with that achievement, it seems Elon Musk's ambitions are even greater. In a speech at the beginning of April, the visionary CEO hinted at a new goal, the creation of the Raptor 4. 
the Raptor 4 is expected to produce 330 tons of thrust, surpassing all previous iterations of SpaceX engines. It'll also serve as a core of some new variants of the Starship. This is incredibly admirable. We can't imagine what more they could possibly achieve. They'll diligently research and test all new Raptor engines to gain additional experience, and the company will continue to iterate on designs. Future versions of the engine may incorporate advanced materials, improved cooling techniques, and optimized propellant mixtures to further enhance performance and efficiency. Not only does SpaceX continuously upgrade its engines, but the speed it produces them leaves us all equally shocked. In the first phase, from February 2018 to 2021, about 36 months, SpaceX produced 100 Raptor 1 engines, meaning they made one engine every 11 days. However, when transitioning to the Raptor 2 version, the production rate increased a lot. In 2021, Elon Musk revealed that they could manufacture an engine every 48 hours. Perhaps that disclosure was not an exaggeration. Raptor 2 production began in late 2021 and within only about 11 to 12 months. In November of last year, SpaceX posted a photo of the 200th Raptor engine they had completed. Also, towards the end of last year, NASA confirmed SpaceX only took 24 hours to make one engine. Since then, after a year, their engine count seems to have doubled. This number may increase further as each Starship requires 39 engines, not to mention larger prototypes that may require up to 42 engines. 400 engines may seem like a lot, but only about 10 prototypes could use them all. Raptor will certainly receive more attention in the future as we approach the crucial fourth launch of Starship. After three successful launches, the Raptor engine has been significantly improved, but still needs more launches to increase its reliability. The successful development of the Raptor engine opens up many possibilities for SpaceX and the future of space exploration. The company secured a contract with NASA to develop a variant of the Starship for lunar landings as part of the Artemis program, aiming to return humans to the moon by 2026. The Raptor engine will play a crucial role in providing the energy for the Starship during its ascent and descent from the lunar surface. Looking further ahead to Mars, SpaceX has its sights set on the Red Planet. The company's long-term vision is to establish a self-sustaining city on Mars, with a Raptor engine serving as the primary propulsion for this ambitious goal. The ability to use methane as a fuel for the engine, which can be produced from Martian resources, makes it particularly suitable for long-duration missions and resource utilization. In addition to crew missions, the Starship and Super Heavy vehicles powered by Raptor have the potential to revolutionize the space launch industry. The fully reusable design and rapid turnaround capability of the system could significantly reduce the cost of assessing space, making it more feasible for a variety of payloads, including satellites, space telescopes, and interplanetary probes. SpaceX is also exploring the possibility of using the Starship for point-to-point -point Earth transportation. By leveraging the vehicle's ability to perform suborbital flights, the company has envisioned a future where passengers could travel between distant cities in just a few minutes. While this application is still in the conceptual stage, the performance and reliability of the Raptor engine will be the key to turning this vision into reality. It can be said that the Raptor is like a miniature version of SpaceX. Simpler to be stronger sounds easy, but in reality, extremely challenging, as it's a unique formula that's driven the success of the world's largest aerospace company, SpaceX. Based on that formula, the Raptor engine's pushing the boundaries of the aerospace industry to incredible limits. We've all witnessed the Raptor's performance in previous flights, but perhaps those displays were not enough to satisfy our expectations. We hope that on the next flight, both the Starship and the Raptor engines will have a complete and successful performance, igniting our emotions after days of anticipation. That's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching and see you next time.